congratulations on the film. Thank you. Um, talking to Terry about it. Um, just talking about a little bit of the process. And basically, you guys have just known each other forever. Yeah. And these ideas just came to you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've known each other. We were uh, we were writers together on Family Guy way back in the day. We were the only female writers in the room. Uh, there were actually more guys named David in the writers' room than there were women. There were three guys named David, and there were two women, and it was the two of us. Um, two Asian women too. Two Asian women. That's it's crazy. That's yeah, awesome. very very weird. Yeah. Um, three Davids, two Asian women. Um, <laughs> I, Seems like a weird joke. It sounds uh, yeah. That sounds like a, that sounds like an indie movie. Three Davids and two Asian women. Um, but no, we've known each other for so long we've always wanted to write a movie together we were like you know what this could be a fun thing to do uh, and we wrote it kind of not thinking that anyone was going to actually like make it we we're like there's no way this is crazy it's raunchy it's got a lot of you know insane things and to um, Point Grey's credit really they were such champions of this project from the very beginning they brought it into Lionsgate and for them to say hey this is a studio comedy that we're gonna put in theaters in front of everyone is so exciting it's such a blast yeah and I think it's so important I mean because like just looking at the carpet all these Asian faces it's yeah. so amazing to see that representation on there especially in like a raunchy kind of comedy yeah, yeah, we really haven't gotten to be able to do this before, and we keep on, so I keep on saying, like, why not us, you know, like, why can't we see this, you know, we, we should be able to see ourselves doing the most horrifying things that none of our family members would want us to do. Um, so, yeah, is that the kind of representation we want? A no, maybe, but, you know, it's good to see. It's one of those things where, as I was walking to the trail, I went, oh my gosh, like, what are we going to tell our parents? I don't know what I'm going to tell my parents. They don't know I'm here. No, I'm just kidding. They're, they, they are a little bit like, I, I sent them the trailer and I was like, so what you guys think? And they, um, my mom just sent a photo, uh, just sent a video of my brother's dog. Like she didn't answer the question. It was, she sent a video of my brother's dog being like, oh, look at Monty's eating snacks. And I was like, did you watch the trailer? Classic Asian mom. Which she doesn't yeah, want, yeah, yeah. She, she was, doesn't want to be not nice. She didn't want to be not nice, but she was like, Monty, look at the dog. So that was very funny. I mean, all four of the characters are amazing. Yeah. Which one would you say you relate to the most? Oh gosh. Um, I think I think through this experience, I really thought I wanted to be Lolo because I was like, oh, I'm fun, whatever. But I think in the process of movie making and producing a movie. Uh, we're all Audrey. Yeah, yeah, we're like, oh, we have to be like really type A and crazy. So we're Audrey. Even though, even though we want to, we, we have all like maybe a Lolo rising, but yeah. And just uh, finally, just, um, you know, talk about the amazing cast that you guys have here. I, I love the cast so much. Um, they, for, Ashley has been um, just, she's so funny. She, I think this is like an exciting moment for her because I don't think e anyone realizes like she's actually super, I mean obviously people see her on Emily in Paris, she's so talented, she can sing, she can do it all. And I'm like, she's also incredibly funny and to be able to see that is great. Sherry Cola is like the host of everything. She's incredible. She's like, like you, you were there at the, the event, right? We're just like, I just want to listen to Sherry every day. She needs to like narrate the audio book of my life life, right? Um, Stephanie, Oscar nominee, is incredible. We've gone back, uh, you know, from our days in Nora from Queens, um, and she is just so talented, and it's so exciting for her to see, to, for everyone to see this, like, other side of her, this, like, the side that where you get to see her, like, her comedy chops. And um, Sabrina, Sabrina is, uh, I don't know, Sabrina is the most amazing comedian. We're so excited for this to really be a breakout role for them. Um, and Deadeye as a character, they really brought so much into this character. Um, we're really pumped for people to see it.